can you write sentences with more impact? That's the topic I'm addressing today with the right question. I'm Daphne Gray Grant, the publication coach, still in pandemic mode. I have a question from Marissa Delgado, an academic based in Manchester, England. Here's what she's asked by email. I would like to be more powerful in my writing, meaning I'd like to write sentences that have more impact. Maybe I have this feeling because I'm not a native speaker, but sometimes I think that important parts of my ideas and arguments are not as powerful as they could be. Does this make any sense to you? Thanks for your question, Marissa. I'm glad you told me that English is a second language for you because I suspect that's the heart of the matter. I'm working hard to improve my French right now and I know how inept and incompetent that makes me feel. My inability to find the French word I want, my fear of grammatical errors, and my discomfort with idiom, all of these issues make me a painfully slow speaker, reader, and writer of French. But the best way to deal with these challenges, at least when it comes to writing, is to write as quickly as possible and give yourself lots of time for editing later. Focus on separating the work of writing and editing when you're putting your ideas into words. Don't stop to evaluate the quality of what you're writing. Don't stop to fix errors. Editing is the time when you can correct errors and make your sentences more impactful. I'm going to give you a few tips about adding impact in a moment, but first let me emphasize the value of delaying editing. Why? When you're writing, you want to be using your creative brain to come up with profound ideas. The impact of each sentence comes not just from how you express it, but from the idea itself. Content is at least as important as form, perhaps even more so. So, if you're focusing only on form, you're missing the biggest opportunity to increase your impact. Be sure to leave your editing for later, well after you've finished writing. Okay, now here are my tips for form. I have two of them aimed squarely at academics. One, check your average sentence length. Many academics don't pay nearly enough attention to this metric. You want to aim at an average length of 14 to 18 words per sentence. See link to the blog post I've written in this topic in the show notes below. Understand, I'm not saying that no long sentences should be allowed. Of course, most academics will need the occasional 50-word sentence, but you should be sure to balance them out with much shorter ones. You want your average to be in the 14 to 18 word range. In English, it sounds particularly elegant and impactful to have a very long sentence followed by a very short one. So, after that 50-word sentence, have a one to five word one. Now, some people tell me that such short sentences don't even exist. They're wrong. See that? I just gave you two two-word sentences in a row. They're wrong. See that? Tip two, watch out for passive voice. Passive voice occurs when you hide the actor of the sentence. Here's my favorite example. Mistakes were made. Who made those mistakes? We don't know. Many academics seem to think that their writing sounds more formal or official with passive voice, but it doesn't. It just sounds more boring. Even in scientific writing, where you cannot use phrases like, researchers found that, you can say, the evidence appears to show that. Always say who is doing the action you're describing. Active sentences are far more impactful for readers. Finally, let me wrap up with a quote from the writer and motivational speaker Simon Sinek. Genius is in the idea. Impact, however, comes from action. Marissa, I know you're wanting to improve your writing, and that's a terrific goal. Just be sure to set yourself up for success by separating the work of writing from the work of editing. And finally, when you edit, be sure to focus on reducing your sentence length and reducing your use of passive voice. If you'd like to learn more about how to make your writing a happier and more rewarding process, check out my latest book, Your Happy First Draft. It's not available in bookstores or on Amazon. The only place you can get it is my website. Link below and in the show notes. 